Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Shanbag. I am a Partner Solutions Architect at AWS. I primarily work with a lot of data analytic partners like Couchbase. I am really excited to talk to you about Couchbase on AWS. Today, I will be covering four key things. First, I will talk about Couchbase partner relationship with AWS. Second, I will touch on the benefits of cloud and the deployment architectures. The third thing I will discuss is the Couchbase Server 6.6 integrations with AWS. And the fourth and the last thing we will look at is the new Couchbase Cloud database as a service offering. So this session is for a broad set of audience, right from someone running their Couchbase Cloud in corporate data center to someone running their Couchbase Cloud on AWS since a long time. So let's get started. Couchbase has a long-standing relationship with AWS. As you can see, some of the key statistics are listed here. Over 25% of Couchbase customers run on AWS. Couchbase has been on the AWS marketplace since 2012. Couchbase is an advanced technology partner in AWS Partner Network. And they have AWS Data Analytics competency. Looking at the collaborative engineering, Couchbase engineering team has worked closely to support AWS. Right from AWS Cloud Formation templates, supporting Amazon Linux to operating system, integrations with Amazon S3, and building Couchbase Cloud, a fully managed Couchbase database as a service on AWS. And the list just goes on. So what is driving this partnership? It is companies like yours that are moving to cloud. So why do companies like yours move to cloud? Let's look at some of the key benefits. The two pillars of benefits of move to cloud are greater agility and reduced complexity and risk. AWS is for builders like you. We want to help you to improve agility across teams in your organizations. Cloud helps accelerate your time to market. By providing on-demand infrastructure and resources, your IT and business teams can focus on bringing value to your customers quickly. Innovation. You can leverage AWS services like AI and ML to build new innovative applications or services. Scaling. Ability to scale up or down seamlessly to meet your business and customer demands is key for most organizations. On the right side of the spectrum, you get, you get reduced complexity and risk. Now you can optimize your cost by AWS pay-as-you-go model. It helps to avoid capital investment needed to start new projects. With shared security model, AWS takes care of physical data center security and security to hypervisor level while offering customers a range of security services and best practices for application level security. Management complexity is significantly reduced because of ease to use management tools for the entire technology stack. I want to bring focus on one of the key drivers at AWS, which is customer obsession. Our leadership is grounded in customer obsession. We innovate on behalf of you and your needs. Today, 90% of our product roadmap is based on customer feedback. It's our customers which are pushing on the boundaries of what is possible today and driving us to enable new scenarios and capabilities for future. We were very lucky to get a very demanding customer like Amazon.com right at the onset. So when we designed a AWS region, 
years of experience of running Amazon.com as well as the specific requirements for high availability, high scalability and fault tolerance were the key drivers. We built regions with multiple availability zones as you can see and each availability zone has physical separate data center. Each availability zone is also fully isolated. They are placed miles apart and have their own power infrastructure. But they are still interconnected with high bandwidth, low latency, dedicated and fully redundant fiber. Thus customers can deploy active, active workloads in multiple availability zones. And this gives customers the ability to operate production applications and database that are more highly available, fault tolerant and scalable than would be possible in a single data center. Using multi-ability zone deployment is recommended deployment pattern with Couchbase. Moreover, you can define Couchbase server groups and match it with instances in your ability zone. Couchbase server group awareness would then give you enhanced availability. And this would give you highly available, fault tolerant and scalable Couchbase cluster than would be possible from a single data center. Before we jump into the instance options best suited for Couchbase, I wanted to give an overview of Nitro system. With AWS, it was always a challenge to keep up with the fast pace of customer innovation. We needed to provide a platform that offers an immense amount of choice that would enable customers for their continued growth as well as when their requirements change. In 2017, we launched Nitro system. This enables us to split the hardware resources from the management resources, offloading a lot of operations on lower cost Annapurna card. What this delivered was better performance across the board in CPU, network and storage. And at the same time delivered benefits in security and rapid innovation. Our continued innovation with the Nitro system means greater choice. So now you can better tailor your resources in the cloud with your workload and scale as your business grows. With the innovation in Nitro system, we support over 275 instance options. The most popular of those are M5, R5 and C5, which would be good fit for Couchbase. The general purpose M5 has a balance between compute and memory and it's good fit for most of the workloads. The memory optimized R5 is a good fit for workloads that processes large data sets in memory. It fits very well with Couchbase data service, which uses in-memory technology. The compute optimized C5 instance types are good fit for compute bound workload applications like Couchbase query service. So now these instance choices play very well with Couchbase multidimensional scaling feature. You can isolate individual database service and scale separately on Amazon EC2 instance type optimized for that service. For example, if you see that you need more query nodes, scale with the compute optimized C5 instance type, which are ideal choice for Couchbase query service processing needs. If your data increases over time, you can scale just the data node with memory optimized R5 instance types. They would be very good fit for the Couchbase data service in memory needs. Again, we understand that your needs can change over time. So you can also change the instance type to meet your needs. Say you start with M5 and realize, realize that R5 is a better fit. 
then you can change the instance type or for that matter even the instance size right from the AWS console. We looked at the best options for EC2 instance types for Couchbase. Now I wanted to cover the EBS storage types that are good fit for Couchbase. For NoSQL database like Couchbase, the best options are the SSD backed EBS storage, general purpose GP2 and provision DIOPS IO1 are good options here. These EBS volumes are 20 times more reliable than typical commodity disk drives. If you are not sure about the IOPS you need, a good place to start is with the EBS general purpose volume GP2. Then you can monitor the EBS metrics using CloudWatch and check if your IOPS requests are getting queued. If, if you find that you need higher IOPS for your workload, you can go with provisioned IOPS IO1. I wanted to cover the baseline performance and the burst performance of a general purpose volume to understand it better. You get baseline performance of three IOPS per gigabyte per second. If you don't use these IOPS, you don't lose them, but we accumulate them up to 5.4 million. In burst performance, you get to spend this accumulated credit balance of IOPS. The cap is set at 3000 IOPS per second, so you can burst until this capacity when you have your credits available. If you use up all your IOP credits, then you are back at your baseline performance for your GP2 volume. For new workloads, when you don't have the exact requirements, we recommend to start with the general purpose GP2 volume. But we understand that your needs can change. With elastic volume feature, now you can increase your volume size. Change your volume type from general purpose to provisioned or other other way around. You can even increase or decrease your provision IOPS to optimize it to your workload. I wanted to cover some additional notes for Couchbase on AWS. As a good practice with Couchbase, scale horizontally by increasing nodes rather than vertically by increasing the instance size. Keep EBS volume under one terabyte so that rebalance operation when needed are fast enough, let's say in case of a node failure. EBS snapshot is not supported as data can be in memory. Taking periodic couch-based backups are recommended over taking EBS snapshots. Just a quick recap. We covered Couchbase partner relationship with AWS and benefits of cloud and deployment architecture with Couchbase on AWS. Moving to the third thing. With the release of Couchbase Server 6.6, .6, Couchbase team has built new integrations with AWS that I would like to touch on. Couchbase Server 6.6 .6 released with a feature that now you can take direct backups to Amazon S3. This is not only for Couchbase running in AWS, but it's also true for Couchbase clusters you have running in your data center. Now, when you are using Amazon S3, do take note that Amazon S3 has different storage classes. Standard storage is the most common and most of you might have used it. It's appropriate for a wide variety of use cases when you need to access the data stored very frequently. But for backup, use the S3 standard IA, where IA stands for infrequent access. 
as you need to access this data only for recovery testing or when an actual recovery takes place. By doing this, you will reduce your backup storage cost in half. You might again want to store these backups in multiple regions. With easy setup of cross-region replication in S3, your backups can be replicated in a secondary region with a click of a checkbox. While we are on the topic of using Amazon S3, we see that there is a lot of interest from companies to build their data lakes on Amazon S3. Why is this, you might ask? Though S Amazon S3 can also be used for public-facing data, it provides various security controls to restrict access. Amazon S3 has 11 lines of durability. It can easily scale to your need and it provides integration with lots of AWS services and APN partner services. I'm excited to see Couchbase Server 6.6 .6 Analytics Service can now integrate with existing data lake. You can define external data sets on Amazon S3 and enrich your Couchbase data using these external data sets from your Amazon S3 bucket. For example, say you are pulling in product reviews on Amazon S3 using a different flow and the product review data is not on Couchbase. But your product data is on Couchbase. Now, using Couchbase Analytics Service, we can join the product reviews from S3 with the product data that is on Couchbase in a single query. Now coming to the final but the most exciting topic, Couchbase Cloud. Couchbase Cloud brings a fully managed database as a service from Couchbase. Couchbase Cloud Data Plane is deployed in your AWS account. So the data resides in your AWS account. It uses Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, Amazon EKS, to deploy and manage Couchbase in your account. The Couchbase Cloud Control Plane manages automated deployment, management, and scaling for your cluster. It provides automated backup, failure recovery, and upgrades for your cluster. And it gives a unified monitoring and alerting for your cluster. By offloading these management and operation tasks for your Couchbase cluster, you can focus on building your business and innovation. Overall, it helps you bring down your TCO of running a Couchbase cluster. With Couchbase Cloud, you also get easy migration options. If you are running Couchbase in your corporate data center, you have both online migration option as well as offline migration option using backup and recover. You can set up cross data center replication XTCR between your cluster in data center and your cluster in AWS for online migration. There are multiple network options available for you to set this up. For offline migration, you can take backup to Amazon S3 or even to a AWS Snowball and then do a recovery on a cluster in AWS. To get started, AWS Marketplace would be the right place to find Couchbase Cloud as well as self-managed deployment options for Couchbase on AWS. Thank you.